Hello Flosstube, my name is Angela, welcome back to my channel and also welcome to my 12th Flosstube video. So I hope you are all keeping safe and well, I know there is still lots going on certainly in the UK, there are lots of local um, lockdowns due to the pandemic so I just want to reach out to everybody and say that I hope you are all able to keep safe and well. So as always today, I have got lots to share with you, um, yeah, lots. So let's get started. First and foremost, I'm going to share what I have been working on this week. And the first thing that I worked on this week was my Heaven and Earth Design Mini Virus Detected. That's what it looks will look like. And this is by Randall Spangler. And... This is where I'm up to. Um, I am just loving all of these colours. Oh, let me open it up a bit more. There we go. Just loving all of these colours. So I've nearly got a whole page finished, but I got a bit carried away with this dark grey colour. Um, and I carried that on over here. So I think all of the four hours that I spent on it this week was done in that dark grey. I seem to just be hooking on to colours with one colour with these projects at the moment and just stitching away but I just think that looks gorgeous. This is stitched on 20 count um, 2 over 1 and that and 18 count are definitely now my favourite. Um, so I did 4 hours on this this week and that's 933 stitches. So yeah really enjoying this one. Um, and what I didn't realise was until I got it out this week that actually I haven't stitched on it all month um, and when I was stitching it I was like oh I really enjoy this one um, there's just not enough hours in the day is there to do all the stitching you want to get done so that was um, the first thing that I worked on this week then I obviously spent quite a bit of time on my um, story keep so this is Story Keep Life is an Open Book Paris by Amy Stewart and I know you've seen this lots of times but that's what it will look like um, and for anybody that doesn't know Story Keeps are sections of a big design so there is a bigger design um, Life is an Open Book Paris and I, had, and I have purchased that from the Heaven and Earth website um, and the Story Keep I think is like one of the sections out of it um, it's bookmark shaped, um, obviously still quite big. So, obviously with all of these designs, I will post pictures of where I was last time. But I've actually done 12 hours on this this week and 2,039 stitches. I got all of the confetti done, because that was just driving me mad, that confetti, um, in the middle part of it. So I got all of that done in the end. Um, and I've worked and I've started to go down and what I was so excited about um, this week was I've moved the Q-snap down and I can literally see the whole the rest of the where the chart is where my gridding is so I know that I can see the bottom of it which is really lovely and just to mark that I put a stitch in the bottom row so yeah really super excited but this is where we're at so this is stitched on 18 count two over one and, oh, I can't even fit it in the whole of the um, screen anymore. So I think, where's the bottom stitch? Here's the bottom stitch, just here. Um, and I think I did go a little bit over with my gridding, but that's okay. I'd rather be over than under. But, oh, my goodness, when you hold it back, doesn't it look gorgeous? Um, and also, if you remember, I did a giveaway of this chart, and the lovely Sharon won it, um, and she's really pleased um, after receiving that. So... I just, I love seeing when people are doing this design because it's just so lovely to see because I know people do it in different count materials, different, you know, one over one and yeah, just love it. And when you, like I say, when you stand back and you see it, it's just awesome. So you can just start to make out the, the couple there and I think that's his arm here. I have done some of the umbrella. Um, I think you can sort of see the lighter colours that I'm, I've started to do. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure really whether I'm going to go colour by colour, either the largest number of stitches first and then work down to the smallest, or whether I'll do the smallest number of stitches and work up to the largest number of stitches, or whether I'll just work down. I haven't quite decided yet. 
Um, I'm basically I'm going to do the umbrella, finish that, and then I will make a decision. But the great news with this is that I wanted to achieve 62% of um, my goal was to do 62%, and I am I'm at 53.28%. Um, I was so excited because. Two Sundays ago, I was at 40%, and this Sunday I reached 50%. So I'm definitely on track to achieve my goal of 62%. So I've got another 3,081 stitches left to do in nine days. I think it's nine days to the end of the month, which is 343 stitches. Yeah, I can do that. I, I would happily do that every day. No problem. So really do think, like I say, I'm on track to do it. But yeah, just really excited by this one. So that's that one. Actually, what I do want to do is just bring back my, this one for a minute and just tell you where I'm at percentage wise. So my goal was to achieve 10% by the end of the month. Um, and this week I'm at 7.39%. So a little bit of a way to go and I might not get it done by the end of the month and that's okay. I'm quite happy with setting high goals and not achieving them. I just think if I didn't set the high goals, I might not achieve them anyway. So I'm okay with that. So that's those two. And then I had a bit of a mad five minutes. Um, as you guys know, I had some 25 count Ada, which I started, I've started twice, two designs twice, no. Yeah, two designs, two different designs. Um, I've started on this 25 Canada. The first one was Paris Romance. Didn't like the coverage. Started then um, a mini mountain cabin. Didn't like the coverage on that. And it's really weird because I do do test stitching. And on the test stitching it looks fine. But when I get it, when I actually get it and I add more colours and I do a little bit more, I just don't like it. I don't know if, and I wasn't sure whether it was a 25 count or whether it was because I was doing one over one. But then I found Dizzy Stitcher, so Darren at Dizzy Stitcher, I found um, his floss tube and he's awesome by the way, so go check him out, I'll pop the link to his channel below. Um, he has got lots of pieces um, that he does at Tent Stitch. Now I always thought I would never be somebody that would do Tent Stitch because I just think if I'm going to do cross stitch I'm going to do crosses. Um, but I really liked how his project, how his projects were coming out, and I thought actually this is what I could do with the 25 count. I thought I'd give it a go, see how it was, and go from there really. So, and this was like I'd made this decision sort of like at midnight one night. I just couldn't sleep. I was watching his floss tube, and I just thought I'm actually going to go downstairs now <laughs> and measure this material for this particular design that I have fallen in love with. I fell in love with it a long time ago so it has been sitting in my stash waiting to be started and it fit and I was like right okay so then I checked my stash and I literally had all of the colours <coughs> sorry apart from six and I was like this is a sign this is a sign to get started so I have ordered those six colours and this was the design, first of all. So this is Mini Princess of the Sea by Donna Gelsinger. It's a very small picture. And like I said, it's gonna, I've, I've started it on 25 count and I've started it with Tent Stitch. And I'm actually very impressed. I know I've got a loose thread. That's, um, that's not because I've given up. It's just because I ran out of time that day. Um, stitching so I really like let me see if I can bring it in a bit closer how lovely does that look I just think the coverage is just so much better so that took me an hour and a half to do that and I did 495 stitches so really pleased what I can tell you is though this will be the first and last time I do tent stitch on 25 count I much prefer cross stitch however the fact that I love this picture it will be worth it so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 10 stitch for this one and um, 
yeah just carry on and just know that I won't choose 25 count again I'll just stick with my 18 and 20 count but I just didn't want to waste the material and I just thought it, we kind of kind of kill two birds with one stone which brings me on to the fact that I always said that I would do five heaven and earth designs at once so now I have six and I tell you what <laughs> I'll tell you why I was like oh well never mind because I've already made a decision that I'm going to start a new one in on the, on New Year's Day, a New Year start. Um, I'm not going to show what it is just yet. Um, I am starting to get it all together, uh, or at least make a list of getting it all together, because my boyfriend did say he would get it all for me for Christmas, get the material and the floss for Christmas. So I'm just starting to kind of work out what I need. Um, and it is quite a big design that's all I can say it's quite a big one it'll be my biggest project that one and I just thought that's gonna take me over the five what does another one <laughs> matter um, because obviously when I finish my Paris one I'm replacing that with the New York version so yeah kind of yeah got to five and yeah never mind never mind um hopefully I won't start anymore but I won't make any promises so anyway that was mini princess of the sea now I decided I wanted to get to two percent by the end of the month um and I'm at 0.63 percent so I need another 1371 stitches so I don't know how much time I'm gonna get on this but I think probably maybe at the weekend I might get some more time um and if I can do 495 stitches in an hour and a half um it won't it shouldn't take me too long to get those other 1300 stitches in so hopefully i'll get to that that two percent so that was my new start for this week um so since i last saw you i have done a total of 17 and a half hours stitching and 3467 stitches wow how amazing is that so what am I going to be working on this week? Well, I didn't get around to working on my um, Ornament Healing Rose by Carol Cavalleris. Um, this is what it will look like. And this is where I'm at. Obviously I haven't done anything on it this week. Let me just make sure it's up the right way. Uh, here we go. Hopefully you can see it all. Um, so I'm going to work on that this week because, as I mentioned, I'm part of Full Coverage Fanatics and Enchanted Stitching Challenges. And that will be used for one of the challenges, monthly challenges in Enchanted Stitching Challenges. So I will definitely be doing that this week. And looking at my diary of everything that I've been working on, I realise I haven't touched any of my dimensions kits. Um, so many of you know that I love the Dimensions Petites range. Um, I've got quite a few in my collection now. Um, and I recent, well I say recently, in the last couple of months or so, I started one called Bayside Cottage. This is what it will look like. And this is where I am up to. Let me put that behind it. I do think with dimensions, especially, well, with all dimensions, it's really um, a good idea to grid. Um, so that's why it's all gridded. But I am changing what I'm doing with it. So where, for example, some of it calls for tent stitch in two or three strands, I'm actually doing the whole thing in cross stitch, um, two over one cross stitch. Um, just because I saw somebody in one of the cross stitch Facebook groups I'm in do one of these designs in full cross two over one and it looked awesome absolutely awesome so and I found also a website that converts dimensions numbers of their floss to DMC so I've ordered some floss because I know that I'm going to run out of a couple that's fine um actually no I think I, I think that floss has arrived now I need to I need to double check to be honest um I think I ordered that a few weeks ago and it's arrived so um yeah I just, I do love these little designs. They are full coverage. I, what I would say is though, they're probably not for the beginner stitcher um, because of the way the pattern is. There's all different kind of colors for the back stitching, which is on the pattern that is over the cross, 
the symbols for the cross stitching if that makes sense um, but anyway so I'm going to be working on that a little bit this week as well so what else am I going to be doing this week well I am going to have more new starts shock horror with me with new starts um, so as many of you know I made a card for my mother-in-law and it, <laughs> it ended up as a disaster beautifully stitched looked lovely when it was finished but I couldn't get the grid lines out googled it said put it in the washing machine put it in the washing machine it ruined it cut a long story short um, so I definitely won't be doing that again I found a better way of getting the grid lines out now so this was a chart from Etsy what I have commonly called makeup cupcake um, but like I say beautifully it, come, it, it comes out beautiful so I'm going to re be restarting that because I do want to give it to her um, as a gift we're probably going to frame it though and I'm going to do that 16 on 16 count Ada two over one I'm also starting a pump uh, sunflower cupcake again I'll link the Etsy chart below and that one's going to be done on 18 count I've got the material ready I've got the floss ready um, so that's going to be started because I've got another friend's birthday and she loves sunflowers so that's going to be for her and then I saw this one again on I think it was Etsy that I got this from I will double check um Stitch Rovia and I just love this quote and as soon as I saw it I thought oh, I've definitely got material and I just couldn't find it um but the material was carefully um stashed away up in my loft um we went up there the other day and I thought oh I haven't looked in this spot lately so I'll have a I'll have a quick look and see if it's there and it was and it's called shoot for the moon and it's and it's actually like a saying shoot for the moon even if you miss your land among the stars and I love that quote so that is going to be going on navy material so this is going to be 14 count I just need to cut that down to size uh, but that's 14 count Ada I just thought something completely different it doesn't look like it would take too long as well to stitch um and i'll probably get it or have it framed like on a canvas so i can put it up in my office because i just think it, it, it's exactly how i feel about goals really exactly like when i set my percentage goals um with my heaven and earth designs if you set them high even if you don't get it you'll get it maybe just a little bit before so if i don't land on the moon i'll, I'll land on the stars um and i just that's just me all over really so i'm really looking forward to getting that started i just need to get the floss um out the way and uh, out the way uh the, all the floss together is what i mean um so that's really all of my stitching plans for next week um and i have had a few messages actually of, of people asking me where i um write down um, my goals and where I write down where you know all my stitching for the week and I've actually got this diary from Amazon I'll put a link below it's a three-year diary and I literally I'll just quickly show you um, August this is where I write it all down it's all color coded and highlighted um, once I've done um, three months because I only actually got this diary it was it was actually quite cheap I thought for three years I actually only got this diary in July so I started it the 1st of August when I've done three months I'll do a video about how I use it um, but yeah that's how I keep a record of everything and I I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a highlighter girl love keeping a record of what I'm doing and everything yeah so there's a couple of other things that I do want to do this week as well. Um, I, I was just looking in my diary earlier of all the goals I had for September and the other final goals really that I had was to finish a couple of projects. Um, actually three projects because they're really close to being finished and it's just, they're just sitting around waiting to be finished really. <coughs> so the first one is summer basket and this is by ellen mora stro and there's literally just a few stitches to go and then that's done i really don't know why i've not finished it sooner but anyway i haven't but i'll get that finished this weekend and then i've got my two booties my pink and my blue pair and all they need is their back stitching that's it that is it um 
and that won't take too long either. So I thought I'd do that this weekend, and then that's three finishes for the month. It's nice, isn't it, having lots of finishes for the month? And then I think really that's um, that's all of my plans really for the week, which I think is enough to keep me going, keep me out of mischief. Um, so like I say, hope you um, are enjoying your stitching and you've got lots of stitching going on and that you are all keeping safe and well. And until next week, guys, happy stitching. Bye for now.